Once again, the Shazy boys and girls soccer teams are playing in the New York State Class D soccer semifinals. It seems like an annual tradition for the Eagles squads. The girls will be making their seventh straight appearance in the semifinals. They won the state title last year. The boys will make their fifth straight appearance and have won the past two state titles. But this is where these teams expect to be from the beginning of the season. Well, after we won last year, um, we had these little sheets that we fell out and everybody put their goal to win Final Four again. We want that back-to-back. -back. At this point in, in uh, the time in our program, uh, we look at it as uh, we only have one goal going into the season and that's to win a state championship. And Is it high expectations? Yes, but that's what we set for ourselves and anything less than that would, would be disappointing. What would you say is the, uh, the secret to Shazie's success? Um, I would have to say working hard, patience, a lot of it's just waiting, waiting and waiting. Uh, it's just the simple stuff that my coach talks to us in practice about year after year. It's the same drill, same same stuff. Talk, communicate, do what needs to be done, and work harder than the other guy. Credit needs to be given to the coaches. Rob McAuliffe is in his 16th season as the Shea Z Boys head coach and has a career record of 326 wins, 26 losses, and 7 ties. In his tenure, the Eagles have made it to the semifinals 12 times and have won five state titles. I mean, there's very few coaches around here that I would say are at his level. He's, he's, he's like a father to all of us. The way he talks, the way he teaches us, it's a lot more than, than just soccer to him. It's more of a father-like instinct. Since taking over the girls team in 2008, Karen Sherman Trombley and the Eagles have 79 wins, 4 losses, and 1 tie. They have made it to the Final Four every year with one state championship. She prepares us mentally, she prepares us physically. We're always prepared emotionally for the game. Um, she's amazing. A, a lot of the credit goes to her. The boys team had an odd season, losing twice to Willsboro in league play. But the Eagles learned from those games and beat Willsboro in the Section 7 title game. Uh, a lot of it boosted team morale. Kind of uh, made their eyes kind of open up to we aren't as good as everyone thinks we are. Uh, we, we all believe and we all have confidence in, in each other, but it's just pro we got proven twice that no matter how good we are, we still can lose, which means we have to bring our game every game in order to win. The girls' team is coming off a 2 1 win over Chattagay in the quarterfinals, the closest win for the Eagles in weeks. They feel that will help them in the semifinals. Um, it, it's a lesson learned. I think we walked away, you know, um, winning, barely winning. Um, they gave us a they gave us a run for our money, and we didn't, we didn't feel we played our best game. And uh, they took us out of our game. They did a great job, and the, the coach always, uh, is always trying to do that to us. And uh, it's a lesson learned where I think it prepares us and makes us stronger for the weekend. The girls' team will play Remsen, the Section 3 champion. Both teams have been tied for the top state ranking in Class D for several weeks. The Rams enter with a record of 18 wins and zero losses. They made it to the state final four last year before losing in the semifinals. Um, I know they have a couple goal scorers. That uh, one of the girls, uh, she's a junior. I think she has about 37 goals. Um, you know, we're going to take her out of the game. She's a junior, um, and you know, still young, not a senior. It's a different mentality as a senior. We're going to just play our way and uh, play our defense and uh, anticipate together and. Um, have them play our type of game. We focus more on what we're going to do. Um, we do talk a little bit about their, you know, their goal scorers, but we do um, focus more on what we need to do as a team. I really know nothing about them. I know they have a strong striker, I've heard, but we're going in um, expecting them to play to our level. We're not scared of them. They should be scared of us. The boys team will play Alfred Allman, the Section 5 representative. Alfred Alma is making its first appearance in the semifinals. You know, any team that comes out of Section 5, the Rochester area, we know is going to be a quality team. Uh, there's a lot of great teams in that Rochester area, so if you're the, the Section 5 representative, you know you're a, qual you know, you're a quality team. And so we know that uh, there's no more weak teams left. And so uh, we know whoever we're going to face on, uh, if we, you know, we face Alfred Alma on Saturday, we know it's going to be a tough test. They don't have a lot of uh, things on the internet about them, but... You know what? They're, they're ready to play. They're playing the defending back-to-back -back state champions, and we're, we're not going to take them lightly. What's the, uh, and finally, what's the, uh, the team's mindset going into this weekend? One, one game at a time, 80 minutes until the next game. Score often, score early, and do what needs to be done to win.